Zollinger Ellison Syndrome Introduction Zollinger Ellison Syndrome is caused by a gastrin secreting tumor called gastrinoma of the pancreas, or small bowel that gives maximum stimulation to acid secreting cells of the stomach, as a result of which gastrointestinal mucosa suffers from ulceration. This syndrome is sporadic in 75% of cases, and the rest, 25%, are familial. As a part of an autosomal dominant familial syndrome, multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1. The usual location of gastrinomas is in the duodenum in 60% of cases, followed by non-beta cells, islet cells of the pancreas, in 30% of cases. 60 to 90% of gastrinomas are malignant in nature. Zollinger Ellison syndrome has a slight male predominance with a male to female ratio of 1.3 to 1, and average age of onset is 40 to 50 years. The prognosis of this disease is excellent in those who have no metastatic disease, and if diagnosis is early, it results in more than 80% survival at 15 years. Less than 5% develop complications, such as perforation secondary to ulceration, most commonly in the duodenum and jejunum, esophageal stricture with reflux, bowel obstruction, gastrointestinal bleeding, and carcinoids, seen especially with multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1. Pathogenesis Hypergastronemia As the gastronomas stimulate parietal cells, they increase in number and size, leading to hypertrophy and resulting in maximal acid output. This gastrin itself stimulates more acid release and an overall basal acid output spike is seen. This large quantity of acid leads to ulceration of gastrointestinal mucosa. All clinical features follow after the mucosa gets eroded. Chronic diarrhea and Zollinger Ellison syndrome results from the following. The high volume of gastric acid secretion that cannot be fully reabsorbed by the small intestine and colon. The rate of gastric acid secretion exceeds the neutralizing capacity of pancreatic bicarbonate secretion resulting in an exceptionally low pH of intestinal contents. The low pH inactivates pancreatic digestive enzymes, interfering with the emulsification of fat by bile acids, and damaging intestinal epithelial cells in villi. Maldigestion and malabsorption both result in steatorrhea. Extremely high serum gastrin concentrations inhibit the absorption of sodium and water by the small intestine thereby adding a secretory component to the diarrhea. Clinical Features Abdominal pain is the most common symptom seen in 75% of patients, typically in the epigastric region due to peptic ulcer disease. Patients suffering from familial zollinger ellison syndrome as a part of multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1 report diarrhea as the most common symptom. Heartburn is reported as the third most common symptom. Other clinical features are vomiting, nausea, hematemesis, weight loss, and malabsorption. It's important to note that in patients with familial zollinger ellison syndrome, multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1, a careful anamnesis for nephrolithiasis, hypercalcemia, and pituitary disorders should be undertaken. Conclusive symptoms that indicate zollinger ellison syndrome are Multiple peptic ulcers located in the first part of the duodenum and refractory to standard therapies. Peptic ulcers with secretory diarrhea. Undetermined etiology in patients with peptic ulcer disease. Positive family history of multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1. The presence of symptoms like kidney stones, increased prolactin levels, etc. Diagnosis. Investigation of choice is secretin study, fasting gastrin more than 1,000 picograms per milliliter, basal acid output more than 15 milliequivalents per hour, basal acid output, maximum acid output ratio more than 0.6. Endoscopic features. Over 90% of patients with zollinger ellison syndrome develop peptic ulcers. Patients with zollinger ellison syndrome like those with sporadic peptic ulcer disease, often present with solitary ulcers less than 1 cm in diameter. Approximately 75% of ulcers are in the first portion of the duodenum, 
14% in the distal duodenum, and 11% in the jejunum. Microscopically, there is an increase in parietal cells and an increase in oxyntic mucosal thickness. Endoscopic ultrasonography helps in tumor localization, usually located in the gastronoma triangle. Ectopically, gastronomas can be seen more commonly in mesentery than in ovaries or testes. In a metastatic zollinger ellison syndrome, diagnosis is done by somatostatin scintigraphy, also known as octriascan with radio-labeled octreotide. Treatment Proton pump inhibitors For example, omeprazole, lansoprazole, dexlansoprazole, pantoprazole, rebreprazole, and esomeprazole. Effectively block acid secretion by irreversibly binding to and inhibiting the hydrogen potassium ATPase that resides on the luminal surface of the parietal cell. Lanreotide injection can be given. Surgical resection of more than 1.5 to 2 centimeters is done in refractory cases. That's all for the video. We'll see you next time.